One of the things I love about praying with people or over people is that you really got to incorporate everything we've learned so far in Preach Christ. And what are we trying to do? We're bringing the requests of the person or even just the person themselves into the presence of God and before our Heavenly Father. We're taking them and leading them through three movements of prayer. The first one I'll call flame it, second name it, and the third claim their hearts for Christ. So the prayer ministry leader, the prayer team leader is going to begin, uh, you know, uh, I guess first by asking what they want to pray for, or bring before the Lord. It might be a request, it could be anything. And then they'll start Owen Christie, whatever the person's name is. You belong to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And we're going to enter into the first section, flame it. And this is dedicated to the Holy Spirit, to the anointing. And so it's during this time that if you have any of the charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit, and let's read through a couple of them here. This is when you would use them. This is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and He distributes each to each one, just as He determines. So once we kind of enter into and then begin to wrap up this section, uh, entering into the anointing of Christ, then we're going to begin to move into the next section, which we're, we'll call Name It. And this is when we bring that request. The prayer ministry leader brings that request of the person to our Heavenly Father. And so, uh, two things to keep in mind here. Praying with simplicity and praying with confidence. We're going to turn to Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 through 20. Again, and Jesus says, Truly, I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. And so pray with simplicity. And what I mean by that is recognizing that any good work that is accomplished in the person that you're praying over doesn't come from you, but it comes from our Heavenly Father. And then pray with confidence. So just like we've been talking about, as children of God, as sons and daughters of God, we can have confidence in that relationship we have with our Father. Throw God under the bus. That is the best thing we can do, and that's what He loves the most. So then we're going to start moving into the next movement of prayer, what we call claiming their heart for Christ. And what we're trying to do here is really, uh, maybe they have encountered Christ in their lives, or maybe they're seeking a deeper relationship or deeper encounter. What can be really helpful here is earlier in the day, praying with scripture and praying specifically that the word that you read and pray with may be for those that you may be praying over later in that day. So I kind of forgot to mention, and it's during this section, Claiming the Heart for Christ, that, um, you know, seeking a deeper encounter with God, that one of two things can happen, and it's one of two ways to end. There's something called resting in the Spirit. So if the person, you know, falls back and just really enters into the presence of the Lord in an encounter, uh, you, you can have one of your prayer team members behind the person with their hands extended underneath, just underneath the person's elbows. And you have a lot of leverage in this, present, in this position, uh, a lot of strength to kind of lower them down, even someone way heavier than you. And then you can kind of cup their head once they're on the ground. It's 
you know, make sure they don't hit the floor really hard. Granted, I've seen people hit the floor really hard, but God always seems to take care of them. Um, you can continue to pray over the person that's on the ground, but if they don't fall in the spirit, and you never want to push someone into falling in the spirit, then you can just end in Jesus' name. So that's how you pray over someone. One of the things I recommend is that just as often as you pray over people, you should seek to be prayed over. So I want to turn to uh, just a passage of St. Paul and Bar Barnabas teaching. And this is from Acts 14, 19 through 22. And at this point, Paul and Barnabas, they've just been preaching in Lystra and they are on fire. Uh, there are so many people that are, so many of those pagans that are literally on the point of, I guess, deifying them just because of the, the works that they're accomplishing. Well, anyway, some Jews get jealous and they came, and the Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derby. They preached the gospel in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. So even, you know, Paul and Barnabas, these amazing disciples, need to be prayed over sometimes. And so to seek prayer is an awesome thing. But in addition, uh, we prayed about the charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, if you read through that one passage from 1 Corinthians 12, and the different gifts of the Holy Spirit, if the Lord puts it on your heart to pray for a specific one, bring that to prayer and pray that with two or three um, others. Sometimes in prayer ministry, or praying over people, the requests that the people will bring can be very heavy. I guess uh, that's one way you could describe it. You know, they can be very serious things. And if you find yourself kind of weighed down, or maybe if some spirit tried to attach, of negativity for instance, tried to attach itself to you, then pray together as your team. And pray that a drop of the most precious blood of Jesus Christ may be washed over you any spirits of negativity or anything that may be weighing down on you may be washed away because even one single drop of his most precious blood the blood that he shed on the cross can free us so with that we're going to close in prayer holy spirit help us to enter into your anointing and to lead others into that father we come before you as your sons and daughters confident that you will accomplish good works in those we meet and pray over. And Jesus, we pray that we and those we pray and minister to may have an ever deeper encounter with you. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen.